Thank you, dear minister. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me to be here. Uh, for my country in Spain, times are difficult, and I thank you all for your condolences. I thank you for your condolences, but I am here as a European in order to announce the security and defense partnership between the European Union and Japan. Yes. And thank you for my box. <laughs> Sorry. You the same in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> and Korea. And I remember very well that in May 2023, in the summit here in Seoul, uh, we celebrated the 16th anniversary of the, our diplomatic ties. And this 60th birthday was the important moment. And in Mark, the beginning of the work in order to announce today the security and defense partnership. And I am very happy to be very pleased to be here with you, dear Minister, in this inaugural strategic dialogue, where we will be laying the foundation of, for closer and enhanced engagement on our key foreign policy issues. I know that uh, for you also the times are difficult, I was visiting yesterday the demarcation line between North Korea and South Korea, remembering your history and paying tribute to the soldiers uh, which are buried on the cemetery that they visited also yesterday. We are strategic partners. We share values and common goals. We share partnerships. And this is important in this uh, current geopolitical context. Challenging for both of us and based on our common will to build a better future for our people. Geopolitical tensions are increasing and climate change also is a threat. Technological disruption is a reality. The Indo-Pacific is at the heart of many of the global shifts, be it uh, digital transformation, be it climate change, be it the rise of China. And in our interconnected world, political, economic, and security developments are not uh, confined to geographical boundaries, because climate change doesn't know about boundaries. And geopolitical tension comes from the war in Ukraine, onto the Indo-Pacific waters here in the Korean Peninsula. The development in this uh, peninsula and in Ukraine, in Korea and in Ukraine, they are far away, but they are interlinked, as you know very well, including the deployment of North Korean troops in Russia, which regrettably illustrates the importance of our shared security agenda. Is not a rhetorical, is not a theoretical approach. It is because the war is at the borders of Europe, and it is because in this war, North Korean troops are going to participate. So this, this increases the need for us to work together. To work together guided by common interests and shared values, and with the will to strengthen our efforts to show that democracies deliver best for our citizens. Not only they deliver freedom, political freedom, they also deliver prosperity, well-being, and social cohesion. That democracies and cooperation among democracies is the best way to, to reach peace and prosperity for our people, for the Korean, and the European people and for the rest of the world. Once again, thank you very much for your warm welcome and once again, very happy to be in Korea again. Thank you. You are very much welcome to Korea. And uh, well, we have a full meeting in this conference room to be followed by conversations over dinner. <laughs>